Lavender is supposed to increase your feelings of trust. Ooh, I totally believe that. Yeah. Well, you trust me because the lavender's out here. Exactly, <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, it's working already. <laughs> Are you familiar with calendula at I'm all? I'm not going to be familiar with much of what you said. <laughs> <laughs> well, that feels good. <laughs> hey, it's Sean of the City. Would you like rejuvenation and healing in your life? Who's going to say no to that? Nobody would. No, that makes sense. Not a reasonable person. <laughs> right. I want both healing and rejuvenation. This is Elena. She runs a business, a super small business. It's in her apartment uh, called Naptown Flow. And it is, what is Naptown Flow? It's a plant-based apothecary. It's all herbal medicine, herbal teas, essential oil blends, all plant-based healing products. Does that stuff really work though? I mean, you yeah. know what I mean? Cause I'm like, Really, why would I not just take Pepto? With plants, it might take a little longer because they're more gentle, but it's effective forever. So like, let's say for example, I have like a chronic illness and I'm taking holy basil tea every single day for a month. I'll feel a huge difference over time. And the way that plants work is they're in complete biochemical harmony with our bodies. Which doctor? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It takes seven pounds of this flower just to fill up this little bottle. Seven pounds? Yeah, in just one drop, you're getting so much of that plant. Um, so well, that also makes sense too, so like, is like one of the things that has stopped me from getting into essential oils, even like, you know, buying some of the stuff at, you know, which like a supermarket or whatever, uh, is because it's so expensive. Yeah. Okay, I know that I have seen, you know, when I'm like going down like the beauty pier line or whatever, I see argon oil, like shampoo and stuff, whatever. I don't know mm -hmm. what argon oil is. What is it? This one's a fun one to talk about. So there's this tree in Morocco. A Moroccan argon oil is the kind you want to get. Okay. Um, so there's a tree in Morocco that all of these goats will climb up the tree and they eat these argon nuts off of the goats. tree. I love goats. Right? They're super cool. You should look up argon oil goats because they're just literally 50 goats in one tree just chilling on the branches. <laughs> and what they'll do is they'll eat these argon seeds and then they'll poop them out so that people can harvest them off the ground. Hang on a second. So if I'm buying like argan oil shampoo or something, it, it's it's gone it's through from goat a goat's poop, ass, from goat yeah. poop, yeah. from goat's ass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so when I hear the term oil, this is where my brain goes, like hashtag fat kid, but I'm like, could you like fry a turkey in like, <laughs> <laughs> like lavender oil? I mean, is it, like, could you really yeah, do that? Yeah, some I mean, people it would, cook it with it. awful, yeah. but could you do that? Yeah, some people cook with it. It's definitely, it's way, way stronger than yeah. olive oils, so I would not recommend doing yeah. it, but maybe a drop Plus it would cost would you $6,000 cool. to exactly. get enough lavender oil to yeah. fry a turkey in. <laughs> exactly. Right?